I'm in Conway, Arkansas, and I am at Fenton Shaw's Metal Sculpture Garden. This is an abandoned folk art site that was built by Fenton Shaw. He died in 2012, and while some folk art sites get preserved and upkept, uh, this one is not, and it's been abandoned for the past uh, eight years now. Uh, so we'll just take a look at the status of the place and see the sculptures. Obviously everything is overgrown at this point. Hard to tell what anything was. Now here's a sculpture right here. And uh, I, I have no idea what any of this is supposed to be. So uh, that's pretty cool. When you look underneath this rocket ship thingy, uh, there is a cage full of skeleton bones and the Statue of Liberty. That's uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be a metaphor for our America or what. Here's a bunch of ladders out on top of each other. Now this here I believe was Fenton Shaw's workshop. Obviously abandoned now. Now I do believe I know what this one is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a statue of Bill Clinton, president of course from Arkansas originally. And I think the one on the left there is supposed to be a young Bill Clinton from Hope and Hot Springs, Arkansas, and then big boy President William Jefferson Clinton right there. Uh, but Fenton Shaw never completed the work before his death. And there's also a guy sitting down behind the Clintons. That's kind of creepy, actually. It's like some pieces have fallen off. It's overgrown and could do. the back side of the workshop. Lots of graffiti now. Here's all sorts of scrap metal parts. Now rusted out that Mr. Shaw may have used for a later sculpture at some point. There's another metal sculpture back there. A big pair of scissors or something. This is an overview of the whole property. Not actually that big. You didn't have too many sculptures. So yeah, definitely sad to see the place like this. Probably won't be around all that much longer. So I'm glad I got to see it. But uh, anyways, we're gonna hit the road again and head further west in Arkansas. So check this out, I found this work of art by Harrison Mays, who's one of the most famous folk artists in American history. He made these things and uh, other religious evangelist type artwork all across the south. They're getting quite rare, and this is the first one I've ever seen out in the wild. It's along US Highway 62 as you head into Conway, Arkansas. I saw a whole bunch of his stuff at the Museum of Appalachia in Clinton, Tennessee. But, uh, wow, this is cool. It's obviously really old. And on this side it says, prepare to meet God. It's pretty cool. It says erected in Algeria. Harrison Mays would write on the side where he intended the sculptures to be erected. He wanted to spread his message with this one in Algeria, but instead it got put in Arkansas. He even planned for intergalactic evangelization with these by designating some to be placed on other planets like Jupiter, though that planet doesn't exactly have a solid surface, so not sure how that would work.
right, I'm now in Toad Suck, Arkansas. There's a lot of weirdly named towns in the state I've noticed so far. And uh, I did want to check out the Toad Suck Park. Unfortunately, it is closed. But I mean, come on, Toad Suck. That's hilarious. While there otherwise isn't much theming or much of anything in Toad Suck, there is the Toad Suck one stop gas station and convenience store. Freaking Toad Suck. Well, best be moving along. I am currently driving near Petite Jean State Park. From my understanding, it is not pronounced in the French way, and most locals actually call it Petty Jean. I did visit the famed state park and have a separate video on that. I'm going to be eating at a truly classic diner, the Old South Restaurant in Russellville, Arkansas. It opened in this building in 1947, alongside what was then an undeveloped stretch of State Highway 64, which back then was the primary travel route between Nashville or Memphis, Tennessee, and Oklahoma City. This was before I-40 bypassed it, but the diner has survived all these years. It was designed and built by William E. Stell, the owner of the National Glass and Manufacturing Company in Fort Smith for Woody Mays, a local businessman who owned and operated the restaurant. This diner is really awesome because of its art modern design. There's not too many like this anymore with the streamlining, round windows, and all of the neon. The restaurant is even on the National Register of Historic Places. Inside there's a Golden Elvis bust, and it's here for a reason. The King entered this building and ate here many times. During the 50s, Elvis was constantly on the road in the South playing at local fairs and auditoriums, especially here in Arkansas. He would also drive frequently between Graceland and Las Vegas, and this diner was right along the route. Here's the original classic diner booth setup where Elvis would have ate. They did not sit me in here though. They've added a large addition, so I was back here. It's still pretty old school and has lots of vintage theming from the days this establishment was first in operation. 
I sat next to the Route 66 signage. While not along Route 66, this diner would fit right in along the Mother Road. Due to COVID-19, they do have certain tables X'd off for spacing. And the food was great. I love this restaurant and will most certainly return the next time I'm driving by.